Welcome back everyone to this new exciting tutorial series. So now I'm going to show you how can we add the green screen background to your render scene. So this is a cool trick that's going to make your renders look even more awesome because sometimes when using HDRI maps, so the lighting is good, but the background doesn't fit our goal. So wouldn't it be great to change the background while keep the reflection? So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding our customizable background image to our render. And also the good thing is that you can apply this trick to animations, not just single renders. And also you don't need any camera tracking whatsoever. By the way, this tutorial is a part of the new tutorial series that's going to help you make this short film animation and render from scratch. You can check it out, the link's going to be down below. Alright, so let's get down to it. So first I'm gonna go to the render properties. I'm gonna be scrolling down to the film tab and under that I'm gonna be checking the transparent. So the difference between the transparent and I'll check this out. So now we're gonna have that background, the uh, HDRI background. So if I switch here, if I switch this one to the transparent, it's gonna be we're gonna be having an alpha channel, which is exactly what we want. We don't have any background so after that we can tweak it so for for now i'm gonna just go ahead and render this scene and i'm gonna see you in the compositing so let's just wait for our render to finish all right so we got some render i'm gonna just go ahead and jump into the compositing tab here i'm gonna just tweak start tweaking the settings so first make sure that you are using notes so that you can have these render layers and the composite First, I'd like to display my render on the background. So shift A, let's add viewer, okay, the second one. And let's just go ahead and connect the image to the image. And basically we cut our background image. You can also press V and Alt V. So V to zoom back and Alt V to zoom in. All right, so now I'd like to replace our alpha channel or the background with our green screen uh, background. So shift A, let's add first an RGB. So this one's gonna be our green screen. So let's just, for example, set it to green. Also, let's make it whiter. Uh, brighter not whiter all right so let's go ahead and add an alpha over so shift a let's add alpha over the first node okay so this node works like the shader uh mixer the mix shader or the mix rgb so basically we feed the two nodes first one's gonna be our render also let me just disconnect so control and right click to disconnect those so let's set our render to the bottom one and our uh rgb the green screen to the top one okay and on the right side i'm gonna just go ahead and connect the image to the composite and also to the viewer and as you can see we got our green screen displayed on the background which is looking great so now what we need to do is to add an actual background not just the green screen so actually what you need to do is to add shift a let's add an image node the second one so i have a few background images that i would like to use we got this one the mountains and the other one this uh traditional uh city landscape or something like that okay so let's jump back into our compositing and let me bring that background image so on desktop background so let's start with this one okay so now i'm going to just go ahead and connect the image or replace it with our green screen and basically we have it so as you can see we have our backgrounds but we need to make it uh, fit and uh, make it fit our render so in order to fix that you all you have to do is to add the shift a let's add a uh, scale scale node Okay, let's just place it, you can see that, I'm going to just place it on the top of this line. And for the type of the scale, I'm going to be switching it to the render size so that we can fit the boundaries to the render layers, just like this. And after that, we can, for example, add a transform. So shift and let's add a transform, transform just to have control over our uh, background image. So for example, here on, on the X axis, let me just try to play with it. As you can see, the X axis is moving the image uh, horizontally. So actually we want to move it vertically. So we just adjust the Y location. Let me just set it, for example, to 100. Okay, we're getting up or about 300. Okay, almost. Let's just uh, move it up, something like that. As you can see, now we're adding those buildings on the back, which is looking really, really good. So it's adding that horizon, which makes our render looks uh, looks more legit but also as you can see we have some changes so right now in my render i'm using that uh, depth of field as you can see and uh, the back balance aren't uh, trans aren't uh, looking clear so we need to replicate that same process actually the way to do it is pretty simple all we have to do is to add a blur node so shift a let's add a blur node 
I'm gonna just put it on top of this layer, the background image. And for example, we can set it, let me just zoom in. So Alt V. So I think here it's gonna give us pretty much good idea. So let's set both of these X and Y axis to five. So hit enter, as you can see, uh, they are blurry too, which is looking fine. Let's just take a look at the final. Okay, looking pretty much good. Also, we can bring it up a little bit. So what about 500? Okay, just to have more details. Looking even great. Okay, so I'd like now to add some glare effect to my render. So let's add the glare. Okay, I'm gonna just put it, place it over there and let's connect the image to the image. Okay, so let's take a look. As you can see, we have some streaks, strikes, streaks. So let me just switch it to the fog glow and let's increase it to 10 or just 9. And for the quality, let's set it to high. Okay, we can duplicate this one. So Shift D and place it again to so have multiple uh, uh, glare effects. Let's just wait for it. Okay, it's looking not that good, but actually I think this effect is fine. Yeah, we can also add Shift A. We can add also color balance. Let's just put it over there and let's start working on it. So for example, you can give it that warm color. Okay, just like in uh, the Mexican uh, movies. No, actually not in Mexican movies, but when, when the Hollywood try to demonstrate the movies in or sections, sequences in Mexico, they make it look like this. They give it that warm color. On, on the other way, if you are on DC Washington or if you are in New York, yeah, this is exactly the color. This is the color they, they give it to Mexico. I don't know why. If you are in New York or something like that, they go with this uh, bluish, bluish, uh, cold, uh, feeling like this so that's a good thing to know so this is the case in one particular render what if we have an animation a sequence of renders each one's gonna follow so the background is gonna stay still but the camera keeps moving so definitely we're gonna need some camera tracking no actually we don't so there is two quick fix to this first go back to your scene remove everything but the camera and add a plane make it fit the camera view at all the frames and assign to it your background while keeping the same resolution meaning if you have a 2k background resolution the scale or the plane scale must be the same after that set the hdri strength to zero we don't want to have any lighting influence in the scene otherwise the background is gonna look fake and it's gonna look like if it's painted if it's a painted statue also remove the principal bsdf and add an emission to control its brightness after that you can go ahead and render all the frames in ev it's gonna be much more faster because this is just a background image and after that you can bring the background renders in your image node and it will be a sequence of images if voila the background will update itself with the camera movements all right so basically that's it thanks a lot for watching please check my new tutorial series that's gonna help you make this short film animation render from scratch links gonna be down below all right so thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you in the coming tutorial have a fantastic day